Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would take you along with me as I really need to do a bit of a reset, a bit of homemaking. I'm not long back from visiting family at Christmas and there's just a few bits and bobs I need to get on top of. Um, now we're into the new year so I felt I would take you along with me. It's a slightly different video perhaps to what um, you're used to from me but I thought I would give it a go and see if you find it interesting so the type of stuff we're going to be doing. I desperately need to go for a food shop because we have no food <laughs> in the house or at least we've got no fresh food in the house. We've got a fairly soft pantry but I've got like no vegetables. The fridge is basically empty so I need to go to food shopping. I don't think the farm shop um, is open unfortunately today so that's like our local farm shop that I try to go to before I go to the supermarket to see what, what veg, fruit and veg I can get from them first because I prefer to shop shop locally and a lot of their stuff is organic and stuff so I think we'll just have to go to the supermarket which is fine like uh, you can still you know if you do want to shop more sustainably you can still do that at the supermarket you know I do look to try and find things that are organic and plastic free where possible so I'm gonna go and do a big food shop. I also need to clean. <laughs> I need to do, desperately need to hoover and mop the floors. That's not been done for a while. Um, clean the windows, fold laundry, etc. Um, and then later on, I wanted to show you a few new things that I've got either as Christmas presents or just got over the last couple of months that I thought you'd be interested in, including books, of course. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm already running a little bit late this morning because I was out with the dog and it was actually a really nice morning. So I like was playing outside and I was like, I need to, I need to get on and do stuff. So I will take you guys with me and I hope you enjoy. Okay, that's everything unpacked. The fridge is looking much better. I keep my veggies on top. I've actually got some food in here now, which is great. Not a huge amount actually, because I've got a lot of root veg that so doesn't need to go in the fridge. But yeah, I basically got my root veg down here, more veg up here, salady bits, and then uh, I suppose vegan dairy type things and then a few more condiments and the milks in here and I cleaned this before I filled it up so I'm feeling very proud of myself for that and then pantry is always stocked full so you can't really see it's a bit dark sorry so that's all packed away in there and then I'm excited about these so I picked these up um, at home bargains for my nuts because I want to start eating more nuts both themselves and putting them in like salads and baking and everything and I usually thrift my jars and just pick them up when I see them in charity shops but I did need a particular size for these because I want them to go in this drawer 
um, and just put them in the back there. I've got this basket which is like overfill of things I've got in jars um, which is quite handy and that also fits in this drawer just about. It's a really nice big drawer, it kind of has everything, mostly teas and then yeah it can now fit these bits in because I have run out of room up on our pantry shelves now for nuts so we are thinking of making some more shelves particularly as I want to do a lot more cooking this year probably in this kind of space here that goes really far back it's full of sort of crap at the moment but we could put things I'm thinking like flowers and baking stuff that don't need to reach all the time like back there but I'll have to ask Terry very nicely to see if he'll do that for me um, but yeah that's good finally got some food in the house before we get on with the rest of the video, I just wanted to chat to you guys for a minute about the sponsor of today's video, and that is Skillshare. If you've watched some of my previous videos or perhaps have subscribed to my newsletter, you'll know that I am a big fan of Skillshare and I've used it myself personally for years. It's my favorite online learning platform and that's pretty much down to the range of classes on there and also the classes being super high quality and it's completely ad free and it's just a lovely place to learn. I think since the pandemic and over recent years, a lot of us have reassessed how we want to work. A lot of us are a lot more aware of wanting a healthy work-life balance and wanting to work a lot more flexibly. I think that's led to a lot of people creating their own jobs and their own side hustles and that's something I decided to do with Hit Behind Living and it's meant that I've been able to work a lot more flexibly, have a career that I find really fulfilling and also drop two part-time work hours so I get that all-important work-life balance. Skillshare has been fundamental in me creating the side hustle and making it successful and as along with the skills such as video editing and writing, Skillshare also has a lot of career focused classes on there. One of my favourite classes on Skillshare is by Emma Gannon, so she's a uh, podcaster and an author that I followed for years and she has a really great class or a few classes but the one in particular that I really enjoyed was seven exercises to uncover your purpose, passion and path. And that was really great in me honing in on what I wanted to do with my career, with my side hustle and in my, in my sort of life as general. It really takes you back to basics about what you want to be doing with your life and it's a really like thought provoking class. Some of my other favourite classes on there are Ali Abdel's classes on productivity. He's got a few of them and I think they're, to be honest, the best productivity classes out there. I've not watched anything to beat them. And the one that I really enjoyed was the productivity class for creators and that looked at developing systems, organisation and workflow. And as a creator myself, it's meant I've been able to keep on top of things. I store everything in my Notion now and it's meant that I feel a lot more relaxed about work and I feel that I just am able to have a better work-life balance because I get the work done and then I can relax. If you want to invest in yourself now that we're beginning a new year, whatever your goals might be, they might be really small, like you want to just develop a new hobby, or they might be a lot larger, like starting your own business, then I highly recommend Skillshare and they have kindly offered you guys an exclusive one month free trial if you follow the link in my description below. If you do try at Skillshare or you have tried out already, please do share your class recommendations. Absolutely love to see them. And thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this week's video. It's a pleasure working with them as always. Now let's get on with some cleaning.
Okay, I've gathered all my bits and bobs that I wanted to show you. Um, the first thing is just what I'm reading right now. So this was a Christmas present from my granny, actually, which I think she thrifted, which is great. Um, it's called The Miniaturist, I think that's how you say it, by Jessie Burton. Um, and it's just a, a really cool fiction book. It's like a really, it's like a million copy bestseller and it basically follows a 18 year old back in the 1600s, I think. Um, and she marries this man and goes to to his house and he gifts her this like big doll's house. And it gets a bit mysterious. Things start happening in the doll's house to re reflect what's happening in the main house. And I'm only about halfway through, but it's, yeah, it's slightly spooky, but not too bad because I'm someone that gets scared quite easily. <laughs> so, so far, so good and really lovely and well written. Thought I'd share that. And then just to um, update you guys, if you didn't see my last vlog where I showed you my library haul, um, I'll link that down below, but one of them was this book here that I recently finished. So this is House of Glass by Susan Fletcher. And of all the books from that haul so far that I've read, this was by far my favorite. I think this was really, again, beautifully written. Um, and it's, I think it's been adapted maybe as a TV show or a movie, perhaps one of you, some of you know, but again, it follows a girl that goes to a house um, with a mysterious owner. And I don't wanna to say too much more because I wanna give it away, but anyway, just an update. I'll link all this stuff down below if you, in case you wanted to read that. And then I got myself some new books, uh, my own Christmas present to myself this year. So I got myself some beautiful children classic books. So I got Alice in Wonderland, the Secret Garden and of course Anne of Green Gables. So I found these in a little bookshop in Ardrossan, which is where I get the fairies to the Ardrossan, where my family live. And they weren't very expensive. I can't actually remember. Yeah, they were only six ninety nine each. And I just think for like the covers and everything, that's just going to look beautiful. And I've been wanting to get some classics. I've read some of these before. I've read Anna King Abel's. That was like one of my favorite books as like a teenager, but I must've given it away years ago. I don't remember, um, but to be fair, I'm not sad because look at that cover. <laughs> and then I definitely read some of Alice in Wonderland and I don't think I've actually ever read The Secret Garden. I've only seen the adaptation of it, the film of it. So I'm really excited to have these and they're gonna look beautiful on my bookshelf. So that was a wee present to myself. And then other Christmas presents I got include these beautiful candles. So these are actually my auntie's. So she makes candles now. She started her own business. So the ones I got are Winter Forest and Restore and they smell beautiful. She lives on the Isle of Arran and she makes them there. So I just thought I'd share them with you guys because I just think you will like them. I think the Winter Forest in particular, I had this one yesterday and it's definitely right up my street. It's a woodsy blend of pine needles, eucalyptus and rosemary with citrus notes of mandarin and lemon seasoned with an East Star, something I can't pronounce, <laughs> cumin and clove. And yeah, they're really lovely. So I'll pop her website in below in case you want to check those out. And then this wasn't a Christmas present. This was actually something that I was sent by a brand very kindly. So this is inclusive. That's their, their logo there. They're based in London. I think they're also quite new. But basically they do these products that are really quite cool. I've only tried one so far, the hand wash. And they're in a powder. So they're completely dry. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well to like powders and what you do basically is you put the powder on your hand and then put some water in it and it lathers up so that you can do got hand wash shampoo a face wash and a body wash so i think these are a really cool idea and they're very obviously for me to be working with them they're really eco-friendly they're totally vegan cruelty free uh, low waste, recyclable packaging, and the idea with this is basically to reduce um, water, to reduce packaging, you know, these will last a lot longer than a lot of your normal products. And so far, like I said, I've only tried the hand wash, but it was lovely, it was really easy to use, and I think these are great. I think especially for traveling, I think that would be really handy. Um, so yeah, I thought it was very kind of them to, to send this to me and they're really ethical, eco-friendly brands. So if you wanted to give them some support, I will link them below. And then my mum got me this. Um, it's just a card actually, but I just thought the design 
was beautiful. Um, what does it say? There's peace to be found among the silence of the trees. And I think she has an Etsy shop and is maybe a YouTuber. I need to look her up. Her name's Fiona Gypsy Bunting. If you follow her at all, then let me know. But I just thought this was stunning. So I think I'm gonna frame this and put this somewhere, maybe above my bookshelves. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you this wrapping paper. So I buy all my wrapping paper from this company. This is rewrapped. So the reason I do that is this wrapping paper is recycled and it's also recyclable. This isn't plastic, this is like a starch bag that you can put in your compost. Um, I also think the designs are really, really pretty. So I don't tend to go for very, I tend to go for wrapping paper you can use all year round rather than seasonal wrapping paper, although this is obviously more autumnal, so I probably use this more in the um, autumn, winter, and then just to keep like house plants. And I've always loved um, their designs and the quality, and I just thought this isn't sponsored. I just <laughs> really like this company. I think it's a really nice way to get wrapping paper, and there's loads of designs on there, so I'll link those down below in case you were interested in that. But I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys today and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you did. Um, I'm happy to do more kind of day in the life, maybe perhaps more chatty vlogs. If you're interested in that amongst all my other normal content, don't worry, I'll still be doing lots of like walks out and about and taking you guys with me and chatting about things out there. But yeah, I found this quite interesting and quite fun to film. So let me know if you'd like to see more content like this. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next week.